Who knew that dishwashing liquid can create such a unique finish? Let me show you how to use the soaping technique. Begin, make sure that you read and follow the directions on the can label. To do this technique, we need a little, a little dish of dishwashing liquid, just a little dab and a little bit of water. With the sea sponge, we're going to create a lot of suds. And what we'll end up doing is sponging all these suds onto the container, just very erratically all over. The second quick step, it gets a little slicky with uh, gloves on, is to spray a color. I'm using 24 karat gold for my first base. And being a hard surface, I don't have to worry how close I am to the surface of the container. So that's my first coat. I'm going to let it set for just a few minutes so that the color can set. And then I'll be deading off the excess moisture and soap. Similar to the water resist technique, where the soap was, it resists the paint. And you see a very large inner excuse me, a large organic pattern developed on the surface. Pretty wild looking, isn't it? This technique is definitely not one for control freaks because you don't have any control of where the suds are going to be, but it generally produces a wonderful finish. This technique, you can also just use one layer of color if you want to, but you can also play with it with different veilings of color. I'm going to play with metallic hues on this one. So uh, adding another coat with a sponging suds onto the surface again. And you'll see how the, it overlays and interlaps and creates just a unique finish. It's such a simple process, but gives you really dynamic results. Now I'm going to spray erratically with silver. Again, let it set for just a few minutes, a few moments rather. And then start lightly dabbing off the excess moisture. I do, I do find that if I'm using metallics, if I let it sit just a little bit longer, the color seems to set a little bit more and then is easier to wipe. Make sure you get all the moisture off. Then hurt to pick it up. I'm going to set it down. And one more, I'm going to do one more coat of just a blending hue with the vanilla, just to kind of blend the, the white and the gold and the silvers together. Again, you have control as to how much you want to play with. I'm showing you four, three layers, but you know, you can have fun and experiment with how you want your finish to look. But this is the technique. You'll see that the, the vanilla is just going to kind of blend the hues together and make it a softer finish. Starting to dab the excess off. It's kind of a marble look on this with this combination of colors.
but you'll have fun experimenting with this technique and using a variety of colors for your personalized finish. But remember, the higher the contrast of color, the more that you will see the pattern revealed.